We have some breaking news now. It involves KKR, and it's all about succession. It's about the most important thing a company does and often one of the most difficult. This morning, we have news out of KKR about how that iconic private equity firm is making its plans with an announcement of the new co-presidents and co-chief operating officers to serve under founders Henry Kravis and George Roberts. Here to take us through what's up at KKR is Jason Kelly, Bloomberg News Executive Editor. Welcome, Jason. Hi. So tell us about why this is so important. Well, this is a big deal. I mean, this is really, as you mentioned, one of the best known and, and most successful private equity firms out there. It was founded by Henry Kravis and George Roberts, his cousin, back in the mid-70s. They came out of Bear Stearns with their mentor, Jerry Kohlberg, and they have run the firm for the past 40 years. And so now they are naming these two 40-somethings uh, as their you know, likely successors and taking over the day-to-day -day operations of the firm. I should say, Henry and George will remain, Kravis and Roberts will remain as the co-CEOs and the co-chairman of the firm, but this is a bit, this is a big moment for KKR. So as you suggest, it's clearly a new generation, 44 right. and 45, I think, are the respective ages of the two gentlemen involved. That's exactly right. So it's clearly a step younger mm -hmm. or so from Henry and from George. Um, have they been at the firm long? Do they know KKR? They do know KKR. They are both 20-year veterans, and these are guys who joined uh, in the mid-90s, and notably, you've had two guys who came up as essentially through different parts of the business. Scott Nuttall is well known to the public investors because he has been the voice on the conference calls. He helped take the company public a few years ago. Joe Bay is more of the private equity guy. He ran the Asia operation there uh, for a number of years. And so this, this compliment is, uh, is, is it seems like what they're going for. Jason, do you notice any kind of shift on how their investment strategy or capital allocation or fundraising might change? Well, I don't think there will be much of a change per se. It is notable that Joe Bay was the head of Asia. And, I was and KKR certainly has taken a global approach like many of its competitors. And it's interesting to see this sort of play through with all of these firms, you know, the Blackstones and Carlisles, Apollos of the world, as they think about a more global approach um, and also their own succession plans.